Hello everyone, welcome back to Mkuteka tutorial. Today this is um, uh, the drawing we'll be making. It's a little bit uh, complex, but we can get it. We have a circle here radius 26 unit, another circle here by the right radius 65 unit. And this particular line here, do you see this construction uh, center line? It passes through the center of the first circle and it is offset by 18 unit downward to get the center of the second circle with the help of these dimensions here. So we we'll start with this radius 26 units. So start drawing circle radius 26 units. Now we have this make a construction line at the centers. Okay, now we're going to offset by 18 units downward from this place down. Enter. Okay, back on the diagram we have. An offset of this vertical line by 43 by 37 by 78 let's do that so 43 37 78 offset by 43 by 37 by 78 okay you can see we have this now now we can put the second circle on this position radius 65 units now that is pretty clear so the third uh, thing we're going to draw is we have an arc that cuts and that touches the circle at tangential position and also the same with this so i'm going to take a circle called tangent tangent to just circle and we will use it to draw this arc here so we we'll also draw a circle with radius uh, 180 minus 20 which is for this second arc here I think you can see what we'll do now. Come back to the uh, interface, click this drop arrow, drop down arrow, and select tangent, tangent radius. You can see tangent, tangent, make sure you are clicking, then radius 180 units, and you have that. Take an, a normal center radius circle, locate the center of this circle, and draw a circle of radius 160 units, which is um, from this diagram the first one is radius 180 second one is minus one minus 20 which is 180 minus 20 160 so that's what we just did but we will have to trim the unnecessary part trim and trim this part and this part trim this part and this part now we can select this and this and delete them out now we have this correct and we have this but um, there is a fillet here so we have a fillet of radius 12 fillet of radius 14 fillet of um, select radius 12 between this and this enter again to redo fillet of radius 14 enter for this and this you can see how perfect that is now that we have that there is a line that is uh, drawn you know in parallel to the center lines here let's check and see you can see there's a line coming like this but it ends at this uh, intersection so we we'll take a construction line and draw it like this and take a normal line to join these two positions okay so from there we would try and trim this away this away okay and this this um this i think that is okay okay we can trim this as well or uh, we'll wait later we'll trim the necessary part there so well, right now we have this okay go back to the diagram you can see that this is already a two unit which is the line we have here earlier look at it this line is uh, you know a distance of 18 units between these two lines just like this but this particular one is 20 units this one is 20 units how do you do that so we are just going to offset this this line by 20 unit up and this by 20 unit parallel to the other face so we'll select offset by 20 this up this up simple then trim the intersection and i 
think we'll join this make sure it's completely uh, parallel without distortion so we'll trim this as well and this as well so we have that we will now clean out all of this and erase okay so let's trim this as well and I think we have this to trim so that we can view what we are doing sorry select select this select this two and this erase you see now we have this we are going to get this fillet radius 10 and this fillet radius 20 let's do that fillet radius 10 between this circle and this yes can you see that okay that is radius 10 we have another fillet here radius 20 and here is also radius 10 so let's do this first fillet radius 20 unit between this and this fillet radius 10 unit between this and this fillet radius 5 unit for this and this so we got that right this is 5 10 20 correct now we have fillet radius 14 and fillet radius 12 i think we can get this ones now so here is 14 so fillet radius 14 for this and this repeat fillet radius uh, 12 enter for this and this so we are done with all the fillets on on this side yeah we are done with all the fillets the next thing now is to draw this and these little designs up in here and uh, we're done with the drawing so what's the first thing to do we will first and foremost draw this circle of radius 10 unit and you draw a second circle of radius 26 minus 8 which is 18 units so radius 10 radius 18 so let's do that circle radius 10 another circle radius 18 you can see we have that and let's leave that part for now because we can see that it is not completely vertical and this is not horizontal so i want us to get the exact position uh, as you can see but for me to do that we will have to use the reference of this line you can see that this particular circle was kind of drawn on top you know if you use something to measure this you see that this will touch if this line were to continue it will touch the top of this circle okay all right so this is what we're going to do we will simply draw a circle of radius 65 minus 29 which will give us 36 so circle radius 36 units what does that mean it means that the edges of those circle the external edges will be touching this particular circle that i just made inside because i've gotten this position here now the next thing is to get the radius of the circle the radius of this circle is six units right so now from here we will simply make a construction line um, you know to pass through the center of the circle so draw construction line passing through the center of the circle and uh, maybe you can make a vertical one just in case we need it but the one we need most is this horizontal line now go back to the uh, to the design you can see that this line was made to touch this edge and in that case 
meaning we will have to make it the same at the same position that it was made so this the external circle was radius 36 unit and the this small circle is uh, with radius 6 unit so we will offset the external circle by 6 unit inside let's do that offset by 6 unit we will offset this in by 6 right and I think we will offset it again in by 6 so meaning all the circles we are going to draw will touch this three circle making this as the center you know more like the base circle alright so with that I'm going to offset this one down by 6 as well now we can take a circle and use this as center line and draw radius 6 now do you see what I'm saying this circle is touching all the lines you know so that's what we're looking for so with this I can simply delete the rest but before then let's make this a polar array through the center point six uh, yeah we're going to make a polar array of six units of this circle six uh, items rather and then enter now we, you can see we have this correctly I need to delete those all right now for us to get the second design you can see the second design was kind of made in the same pattern look at this the bend was not given the angle you know was not given but we can get it exactly from here you can see the bend here the bend here so we are going to put a construction line directly touching this center and this center then we'll copy the line here to get this one of those just one of those is enough then we'll, we'll, we're going to use a pattern again to get the rest so draw a construction line passing through the center and this center then we can even move it you can just move it like this to this position you see that so if you want to copy you you can copy it so it is not a hard to, a hard stuff to do you can see that is copy all the same so you can see there are parallel lines although I don't need this anymore now from here we will look back at our design you can see it's as if that line is passing through the center of this circle uh, exactly on the center here so we will offset since the whole uh, length is 3 units understand look at it the 3 unit you have to bring it here we will offset by 1.5 by 1.5 just to get it fully so offset by 1.5 unit from this place up okay I'm going to zoom in from this place down with this we will simply select trim and trim this tree trim this okay trim this trim this and sorry uh, we have some things to trim again trim this two and then um, enter so we select these lines sorry I think we select this and delete including this line delete and this tree delete now we have okay we have uh, other things to delete there okay this is gone this is gone as well now you can see that we will now pattern this into one two three four five six and eight into eight pieces so we will select polar array center and uh, come here and write eight you can see if you're done just close and exit so obviously you will have to select trim and trim those parts one two three four five six seven this was already trimmed so that makes it eight and then that is all for the design you can cross check and confirm also so thank you for watching this video once again uh, you all know how to dimension right so you can do that and then uh, if possible if you have any issues you can just make 
comment in the comment section below thank you